let me start this review out by saying, as a Tesla owner, I feel like this is a very, very competitive design, right up there with the Ford Mach-E. I did drive the Hyundai Ionic 5 a few weeks ago. I will put that review in the description of this one, and they're very similar because they're cousins. I just cannot get over the styling of Kia and Hyundai. They are both just knocking it out of the park. I mean, this thing looks amazing. Great lighting signatures, wheels, just the, the design, even like the, the grills. I mean, just every everything about this car is, is, is sweet. It has a really low sloping hood, beautiful LED signatures. Um, you know, really interesting details. If you really get and look in the details of the car, it just looks really nice. So here's the bad part. As a Tesla owner, I am a fan of the direct pricing model. The dealer games and shenanigans they play, this one has a $25,000 markup, along with other ridiculous add-ons, making it an $80,000 Kia, which is insane. Um, this car equipped is, you know, it's a $53,000 Kia, which is, you know, way up there also, but to tack an extra you know, almost 30 grand on this car is just insane. And the, and the dealer told me, oh, this is a great price because it's the only one around right now. So they're they're charging you for that. Um, I think, personally, I would wait a while and let the hype die down unless you can get it at sticker right now. Along with the great style come great door handles. Uh, the interior design is very nice, feels very premium, some really cool materials. It has real buttons, which, you know, my Tesla doesn't have a lot of buttons. I do appreciate a lot of these buttons, actually. Um, it does have an uh, infotainment system that gives you Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, um, and lots of plug-in points, lots of you know, USBs and cigarette lighters and all that good stuff. Um, but when the info infotainment system is booted up, um, you can see all the hard buttons here. You do have to switch between the air conditioning and the radio. It's kind of like a, it changes all the buttons. You hit the switch and it switches back to the AC system. It's kind of kind of weird. Uh, this one does have a, a 300 mile range, which is pretty nice. It does have the different drive modes, sport, eco. Eco, of course, adds more range, which is nice. Um, sport makes the throttle a little more snappy. Um, I think the sweet spot for this car is their rear wheel drive lower range model which is around 250 miles but that's going to put you in with the $7,500 tax credit at like $35,000 which is pretty incredible for this car um, you don't need to get the high-end model with all-wheel drive especially in Florida it doesn't really make sense I think the rear wheel drive model is, is plenty fast and it's going to suit the taste of most buyers the camera system in this Kia is really really nice it's got um, like when you, it actually can tow, it does have a little bit of a tow rating, so you could tow a jet ski or something. But it has this uh, look down, where you can look down on the back of the key, on the back of the car, you can see actually what's behind you. It's got the 360 views, which is really cool. Here are some really good specs with this car. It has up to a 310 mile range, 800 volt architecture, which is really great for charging speeds means you're gonna get like 80% of your battery in 30 minutes or less. Um, the other thing is the power. It goes all the way down to just under 200 horsepower up to the GT model, which is gonna have 576 horsepower, which is incredible. It also has a really cool charging door, which is kind of neat. Um, this car also has reverse power, meaning if, you're, if you wanted to go to a campsite, you take this little gadget here you plug it in, it looks like a charging cable, but it actually has a um, power outlet on one end. And you can actually run your campsite. So you could run lights, a refrigerator, a few, you know, a few small things like that uh, with this reverse uh, power. I was really impressed with this new electric car on the market. Kia did a great job. Do me a favor, please do not pay over sticker for these cars or any car for that matter. Please shop around. Also, check out my Hyundai Ionic 5 video. I'll link in the description below. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe.